Hi folks, welcome back. I want to continue with my Africa loadout and what you're looking at is my gun case and my ammo box. In the back I have a Pelican case that is the 1750 with one rifle and some accessories and I'll show you those contents shortly uh, once I open it up. And In the front there is an aluminum ammo box from Cabela's with four boxes of federal premium ammunition and that's what I'll be taking on the hunt with me as well. So let me get set up here. I'll open everything up and I'll show you the contents. Okay, I'm back. Let me show you the ammunition first and then I'll show you the rifle. What I have here is a Cabela's, uh, not stainless steel, this is actually aluminum, uh, ammo box that has padlocks on it and I can actually lock it up. And Inside I have an ammo holder, little ammo pouch, and this one has the elastic bands and it'll hold 10 rounds and I can carry it on my belt. Now inside I have four boxes of ammunition, a total of 80 rounds and that's what I'm bringing with me. And I chose some Barnes Triple Shock and it's 160 grain to go with my 7mm Remington mag. I have two boxes of these. And over here I have two boxes of 160 grain trophy bonded tip. So I have a little bit of mixture of the ammo. I kept it at 160 so I can switch back and forth with no issues. The rifle's sided in. It is actually shooting perfectly. And this is what I did at the range with uh, both of those ammunitions. And once I start to get patterns like this where the uh, bullets are touching, I'm done. I just put the gun in the case and this is what I call accurate enough. So when I come back, I'll show you the firearm and all the contents inside the Pelican case. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this is the rifle that I've chosen for my Safari. It is a 7mm Remington mag. There's a lot of choices out there with respect to a Plains game hunt. You can use a 300 Winchester mag, you can use an 06, 300 Winchester short mag, 338 and so on and so on and so on. There's just a lot of choices. I just decided to go with the 7 millimeter because this rifle shoots so well. Now I have everything cut out in here and let me see if I can just pan around a little bit just to give you an overview and I'll take everything out quickly and just explain what I have in there. And I'll start in this far corner over here. I'm also going to take the rifle out and I'll give you a good good view of it. But I have a scope pen in here just to clean out the optics if I need to do so. And over here I just have the bolt removed from the firearm. And it's easy to uh, declare the guns unloaded, especially when the bolt's removed. Serial number up, the heavy part towards the wheel and I have sufficient room here and sufficient room over here for padding on both sides to protect the firearm. Over here I have extra magazines for my rifle and in here I have a boar snake and that just rides in there. Over here I have some hearing protection. I have a small ballistics chart that got wet at the range. I'll have to write up a new one but it's, it's essentially what I have on here, it just has my ballistics for the specific bullet at 100 yards and where I need to hold my reticle if the shot is further. And I also have uh, this information paired with my binoculars and I have the proper micro SD card in there for a 7mm Remington mag with a 160 grain bullet. And over here is just another magazine for the gun. So what I'll do is, I'll just put this stuff back in here. This is an Otis cleaning kit. It is just a, the very small portion that comes with the larger kit. Over here I have a small headlamp, a zebra light. And as you can see, this is the sling to the gun. I just kind of rotated it and put it in there to give it a nice fit. Over in the over here I have my hunting knife and my EDC knife 
and uh, when I come back I'll show you the knife and I'll also have the gun up for you so stand by please okay I'm back let me just show you the knife before I show you the rifle and this is a Bark River Gameskeeper and it's a very beautiful knife it has a Kiranite handle on it and it also has the matching fire steel as you can see and it is in a custom sheath see if I can give you a nice shot of it right there nice belt loop and this is a pretty heavy duty hunter it's a beautiful beautiful knife it's very smooth and I'll show you the blade it's about a four and a half inch blade it's a very heavy duty hunter I like it because it has this choil area has a nice little choil area in here and this one's CPM 4V and let me just make sure I can give you a shot right there so this is a desert Karenite it's very lightweight feels good in the hand you can choke up on this knife and get close up in there it's good for skinning uh, gutting large animals and it's a very heavy hunter as you can see it has a very substantial point on there and a very thick spine so this is the Bark River Gameskeeper in CPM 4V and it has a desert Karenite handle on it and I have it in this custom sheath with the matching fire steel so I'll set this down over here and this is my EDC knife. This is the knife I'll be carrying when I'm in Africa. I'll throw this right in my pocket. And it's just, uh, you've seen this knife before. It's a PSK. It's just a very small knife. And it's good for skinning, cutting rope, power cord, very small tasks. And it does a pretty decent number on a stake too. So this is my Bark River. PSK personal survival knife with mosaic pins in maroon linen micarta and it's 154 cm on the steel so this is my EDC knife that I'll have with me and this here is my hunting knife that I'll be wearing on my side when we go into the African bush I always go into the uh, woods with a knife you never know transmissions break down might have to spend the night build a fire and that rides in there face down so when I return I'll show you the rifle and we'll wrap it up thank you okay I'm back and this is the rifle I'm going to be taking to Africa with me and what you're looking at is a Sako 85 in a 7 millimeter Remington mag and it has a stainless steel barrel and laminated stock it has the two cross bolts for reinforcement in the middle there and I have it paired with a Swarovski scope a 4 to 12 to 50 power scope and all I can say about this rifle it basically shoots like a dream it's very accurate it has great action and uh, the trigger is very very nice and let me see if I can bring in a little bit closer so you can get a better look at it but there's the stock and the receiver and the safety is right behind the bolt there and that's exactly where I like it I have tally uh, bases on it and tally scope rings as well and I was going to take a 300 Winchester mag but I decided to take my Sako because I like the trigger better and I'm very comfortable with this rifle and with the right ammunition this rifle will take down large game so there's a shot of that famous Sako action paired with a Swarovski. This scope's excellent in twilight and dust conditions.
it gathers a lot of light and it's very very clear so this is the rifle that I'm going to be taking to Africa on my safari once again it's a Sako 85 long action and it's also known as the gray wolf in the United States thanks for tuning in and see you all next time